Welcome back to our third month of ear training. So far, we've learned about writing and identifying rhythms, and we've started to work towards writing and identifying pitches. So this month, we're going to work at combining pitches with meter and rhythm. So we now have two sets of symbols, those that represent meter and rhythm. So for us, we used the vertical and horizontal lines in our first month. Remember that the vertical lines were meter and the horizontal lines were rhythm. And then last month, we did it with pitches, and we did this using scale degrees or solemnization, or sometimes we call it solfege. In this lesson, we'll combine both of those types of symbols in one system of pronotation. To do this, we'll simply write the scale degree number or the solemnization syllable directly above each of the horizontal lines that represent rhythm. For example, the meter, rhythms, and pitches for Frere Jaca can be represented like this. So we feel that duple simple pulse, the duple pulse. Frere Jaca, Frere Jaca, dormez-vous, dormez-vous. So we feel that two pulse. Then we have the rhythm. Two, 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 two. Then we simply add in those syllables. And in last month's lesson, we established the syllables for Frere Jaca. So we combine all of them to get something that looks like this, which shows us pitches, rhythm, and meter. Notice the small directional arrows before certain syllables. These indicate a skip, and the arrow points up for a skip up or down for a skip down in the melody. If no arrow appears, the music moves by step. You should now become accustomed to seeing and using these arrows whenever the music skips. Now read from this combined pronotation and sing Frere Jaca on syllables or numbers while conducting in duple meter. So when we conduct in duple meter, I believe I showed this two months ago, it's like a reverse J in front of us where we go down and out, in and up, down and out, in and up. So if we're conducting, we have do, re, mi, do, do, re, mi, do, mi, fa, so, mi, fa, so. Now try doing the same with twinkle, twinkle, little star. First, we'll write vertical lines for its meter. So we can feel twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. What do you think that is? That's right. It's in duple meter. So then we're going to write out our rhythms. Two, 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 two. Great. Finally, our third step would be to write in our solfege. Do, do, so, so, la, la, so, fa, fa, mi, mi, re, re, do. Now conduct and sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star with the syllables while reading from the pronotation that you just constructed. Great. 
Now try singing one more in the same manner. So you don't know what song this is. You're going to just sing it from what you see with your rhythm and your notes. Go ahead and try it now, and then we'll reveal it together. Okay, so we can see that we have a rhythm of ta 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 ta. Great. So let's add in the syllables. Mi, re, do, re, mi, 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 re, 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 mi, so, so. If you performed your pronotation properly, just like I did, you sang the rhythms and pitches for the beginning of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Write out the meter, rhythms, and scale degrees for the rest of Mary Had a Lamb in pronotation. We're now ready to use our combined system of rhythmic and pitch notation for both dictation and music reading. So at this time... Go ahead and complete the listening assignment and do the singing assignment on your own. The listening assignment will come directly after this lesson on this same video. Thank you very much, and we can't wait to see you until next month. Thank you.